hello everyone and welcome once again god bless you all in jesus Marit's name if you are meeting me for the first time you're welcome this is Shantali kabe and this is going to be like a little bit of storytelling it's story time i want to share something that is very very important and i believe that this message is going to go a long way to save someone this is something very very important actually holding my phone right now so um please i'm sorry if you find this video shaking at some point i'm holding my phone to record i want to do this quickly the children are outside so this message has been coming to my spirit and today i thought to share with each and every one of us because i know that this is a word for someone now a lot of times we do get dreams on certain things dreams are very powerful and they are very revealing as well each time we have a dream god is actually revealing something to us or there is a message that he's passing across through th that dream and so it's very important that we always take note of our dreams always take note of your dreams whenever you wake up from bed try to remember the dream that you had that night because dreams um is actually one of the ways that god speaks to us his children the bible says on the last day i will pour out my spirit on all flesh he says your sons and your daughters shall prophesy it says your old men shall dream dreams your young men vision there's a scripture that in the book of job that talks about god speaking to us through dreams especially when we are not able to hear him directly so um this is my point a lot of times we dream and god is speaking to us and is revealing to us a lord in our dreams and we take for granted the messages that he's passing across until sometime you know down the road or later in the future we start seeing some manifestation and we are like wait a minute i saw this in my dream god actually tried to warn me about this bird i didn't listen or i didn't take note of it i didn't notice it actually so this is um this is why i'm actually here to share this word with us there are things that god will show us in a dream to save us from future destructions future disappointments take for example many a times god is going to show us dreams of deception especially when it comes to people that are around us now you may be with someone you're planning to get married to that person or maybe you have a friend in your life i'm coming to the message actually maybe you have a friend in your life that is really not from god that friend is it's not a friend it's actually a friend i mean and you've been saying in your dreams that this person is trying to stab you or plotting against you or lying about you lying against you god is actually trying to tell you using the dreams that he's been giving to you so be careful he's warning you against that person he may have said it to you through the voice of the holy spirit but you didn't really listen and so um he came when you were sleeping when your body was resting and your spirit man was awake and he knew that that was the appropriate time for him to pass out that message to you and so he showed you in the dream clearly what this person or who this person truly is but then you did not listen and then you went on with this person continue with the friendship or maybe you had plans of getting married to someone and then you got married something happens and then you're like oh my god i actually saw this in my dream i saw this person trying to do this in my dream so what am i trying to say god has been telling me these days to be very careful about the things that happens around me and also he said this to tell someone when he's showing you things in your dream do not i repeat when god is showing you things in your dream do not ignore them don't take for granted the things that god shows you in your dream if you have a friend around you and god is revealing it to you in your dream constantly that this person is lying against you, is trying to stop you, is trying to, you know, do these terrible things against you, be careful. There is a message. If God shows you something more than twice, it's a very serious message and warning to you. You should take note of it. You should be careful. And then another way God is going to show us these things, it's not just directly to us, but through others around us. God 
they give you a message through your dream and another person comes and confirms that same message someone may equally dream about you and the person calls you or comes to you and tell you hey i dreamt about you and there was someone that was trying to hurt you or you know um plot against you or stab you or kill you so that is god speaking to you and asking you to be very very careful god wants me to tell you that when you see dreams like this, you should know that he's warning you to stay away from somebody. I'm going to share with you a brief testimony of mine. Now, there's this friend of mine who was very close to me and I really love her so much. I love her with the whole of my heart. Um, she was actually my roommate at one point, at one point and I remember a time where we shared a lot together. But I had this dream. And in the dream, someone came and was warning me. First, a dog was barking. And then someone came from nowhere and began to warn me. And this person was like, be careful. That is not your friend. Be careful. Stay away from her. Stay away from her. I didn't understand. Now, there is a leader in our church back home who um, equally spoke to my mom and told my mom the same thing. She said to my mom, tell your daughter to be careful. There's someone around her who is not her friend. She's acting like a friend, but she's really not her friend. Tell her to be careful. I kept ignoring that. I was ignorant by then. I kept ignoring that because I really love this friend so much. Until God started showing to me dreams about her mom. Her mom kept coming to my dreams and she was constantly attacking me this woman each time she comes to my dream she's always against me and then i noticed that at one point of my life there were some things that were not moving i found it very difficult to move on i was stagnant and i wanted to see some things come to pass but it was very very difficult i didn't know what was happening but god kept showing it in my dream how this woman was attacking me she kept attacking me in my dream and i never understood why and her daughter was my very good friend now this is what happened there was this day a man of god actually spoke to me and still gave me the same word and my eyes became very open and i began to pray i began to pray against this woman and i began to pray as well against the spirit that is in this lady so when i began to pray i started seeing reactions again in my dreams many reactions brethren before god this is a true story. This woman's mom came to me, this lady's mom, my friend's mom came to me and she began to tell me to let her go. The moment I began to pray, she said, let me go. I'm tired. Your prayers are hitting me. She was like, I'm tired. I'm almost dying. Let me go. Let me go. And then I was like, I'm not holding you. So why are you asking me to let you go? I was a little bit confused in the dream. So she was like, let me go. I woke up. There was a night as well. I woke up at midnight and I began to pray again. This is another day. Woke up at midnight and I began to pray again. Now, um, after after that prayers, this is what happened. I saw her. She came again in my dream and she said that she's gone. Something like she's gone. Um, you know, um, um, I can have what I want to have. Some kind of, you know, the sta the statements of freedom and all of that. After that encounter, what I have been trusting God for for a long time before God, it was released to me. This thing God released to me. That was when I knew again that this life is more spiritual than it is physical. For those who don't believe yet, I tell you the truth. Life is very much spiritual. If there is a thing you are going through, any situation you are passing through right now, don't look at it like it's normal. Begin to check back. Like, you know, check with your dreams. Check with the Holy Spirit and what has been going on around you. Now, this is something you should know. The cause of every trouble is never far away from you. Most often, it is always around you. The one causing that trouble or the thing provoking that trouble is always around you. The demon, the spirit, they are never far from you. And so when you are checking, check around you as well. Hallelujah. Check around you. The Bible says a man's enemies, they are members of his household. So we cannot leave that out. Check as well. 
it's from within and even if it's not from somebody around it, can, it could still be yourself you know our flesh is our own enemy so we check with our flesh as well when we are checking we check the flesh to see if everything is right are you doing the right thing so when i had this encounter it made me to understand a whole lot and from that moment i began to pray and i you know when when i when i dream about something i become very very careful and very conscious now if i have a dream and god is telling me be careful of this person or be careful of this thing i don't play with it i don't take it for granted because god does not joke god is very meticulous he's very very careful that's what that's what i mean he's very very careful and so he will want us to be very careful the life we have is just a life we are going to live once once and that's it and so we have to be very careful so god is warning a lot of us true dreams concerning people when you have dreams and you constantly see someone coming against you don't joke with a dream or you want to get married to someone and in your dream you keep finding this person fighting you or you see things in you know going on between you guys or in the relationship that is not favorable please pray more about it and hear what god is trying to say before you proceed the bible says he knows the end from the beginning and so he knows what's gonna happen at the end that's why he keeps showing to us things so we can pray against them so please always Pray when God shows you these things. Don't rush into a marriage or relationship if your dreams have been telling you otherwise, especially when these dreams are of God. That's why we have to also know the dreams that are of God and the ones that are being manipulated by the enemy. And one way for you to keep your dream land pure, you know, um, you know, stay away from manipulation is by praying, brethren. The more you pray, the clearer your visions and your dreams are going to become. And it's also going to be pure as well. The devil is not going to be manipulating your dreams, your visions, and even the voices that speak to you. You're going to be able to hear clearly from the Holy Spirit. So prayer is very effective and powerful. And have a very close relationship with the Father. Before you go to bed every night, pray. Don't sleep without praying. Pray to God so that you can have good dreams. Pray to God against manipulation. Pray to God against deception. Pray to God against all of these things so that you can have good dreams, um, godly dreams. Hallelujah. And I pray that this day, because this word has come forth, may God deliver someone from every manipulation in the name of Jesus. Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11, it says his word does not come back and goes the same. It will accomplish every purpose for which it has been sent forth. I pray in the name of Jesus, may the purpose for which God has sent for this word be accomplished in your life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Some of us, you see in your dream, this is a vision God just gave to me. There's a woman that keeps delaying your marriage in the dream. I don't know how she does it but you find her delaying and dragging things in the dream either maybe she refuses the people that you bring to her or you know one way or the other i pray for you may god deliver you from the hand of this lady in the name of jesus and give you speed let your marriage be released to you in jesus mighty name amen may god give you good dreams clear dreams and may god protect you from the wrong people and the wrong relationships in the name of jesus amen god bless you family thank you once again for listening um if this video was a blessing to you please make sure that you like it help me to like the video and share with someone that is going to need it subscribe as well join the family become a member today and as you do that may god bless you abundantly in the name of jesus be blessed remain in the presence of god and always remember that god loves you so much god loves you god bless you and i hope to see you shortly